Let me share with you some tips about the emphasize feature that you might not have thought of. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so this is gonna be a quick one here that I myself noticed when I was editing. And I thought while I was doing the emphasize feature and found some things out about it, I should create a video because some of you watching this maybe are having that issue. So if you don't know what the emphasize feature is, it is when you head over to, I'm just gonna click the more tab, you go to audio effects and you see here, emphasize. This is used when you have both vocal audio, like you speaking and then music behind right and so before the emphasize feature you know you had to really play around with the audio and like lower it down lower it down here potentially lower down the gain so that you could hear yourself speaking and camtasia created this so that you can add it to your audio so that it actually raises your level for you and i'll play it right now so this is with the emphasize feature on Hey friends, I'm Leora. Lovely to meet you. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada, and I create epic orchestral music with a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern flair. That so that's actually my business partner, Arit. She is the other half of Esatino Media, and she's also a singer. So I was creating a video for her for her new music channel, and as you can hear, there is a background music going on, and she's speaking at the same time. And you can hear her properly, even though there's music going on. If I go and remove the emphasize feature, so I'm just going to quickly turn it off. It's in the sound tab here. So I'll turn it off for the first part here. I'm just going to turn it off and I'll turn it off for this clip as well. And then we'll play it and we'll hear the difference. Hey friends, I'm Leora. Lovely to meet you. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada, and I create epic orchestral music with a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern flair that transports listeners to otherworldly realms. So as you can hear, as the song was kind of getting into it, the beginning part was still a little bit low, but as it starts to get into it and it gets louder, it's starting to become harder and harder to hear what Arit is saying. For a, a viewer who has never seen this before, that could be distracting for them. So that's why we add the emphasize feature on there, right? And then it automatically raises your level up. The Mediterranean, Middle Eastern flair that transports listeners. And it emphasizes your audio. What a lot of people do is they will add it on to their video, like their talking video. And the whole reason why I wanted to make this video is you wanna make sure to add it to all pieces of audio. So if you have sound effects, for example, right here, there is a sound effect, right? It's, it's a bubble popping, so we'll play it right now. The idea behind taking a classic rock song. So you could hear that, you could hear that little bu bubble popping. Make sure to add the emphasize feature on all audio. So not just your talking audio, but sound effects audio as well. Because if I were to remove the emphasize here, you wouldn't really hear the bubble popping. And I'll play it again. Behind taking a classic rock song. It's a lot lower than it could be with the emphasize feature. So I'll play it again. The idea behind taking a classic rock song. So you really hear it and you really notice it. And I found this out when, you know, I'm editing videos and I added all these sound effects here and I couldn't really hear them. And then I realized that the emphasize feature needs to be added to this as well as the talking head. So that's a quick tip for you if you are editing with your projects. If you have more than one audio going on, you definitely want to add it to all the piece of, pieces of audio that you want to be heard, i.e. your vocals and your sound effects. Because what's the point of putting in a sound effect if you can't really hear it, right? So that was a quick one for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. And as mentioned, this is a video that I did for my business partner, Arit, the other half of Esatino. She's got a new music channel and she's got a new song out on Spotify. And get this, it is a cover of the famous song by ACDC, Thunderstruck, and it is a cinematic version. So Arit is a cinematic music artist. 
So if you want to hear a totally different, cool version of Thunderstruck, head over to Spotify. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.